think, I don't know, if you were smart and bought like the Coach Tabby bag two years ago instead of buying a Chanel 19 or like a Bottega bag, well done guys. Cause like, honestly, I just think like, I'm personally over this cushion bag trend. I like want to wake up from it and stop using like pillows as bags. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Jess. So this morning I was on my morning walk and I noticed Foxy LV uh, leaked a picture of a Puffer Alma BB and guys I'm going to tell you my honest thoughts about Puffer bags and why are they still on trend and what I think about it. Now I do have one Puffer bag, I have the Chanel 19 which I have said in a previous video uh, my thoughts about it and things that I think are wrong about it so if you want to watch that video you totally can do I recommend this bag I think at the price that it is now I would honestly say just go for the coach <laughs> tabby or something like a lot of people have asked me if they should go on and get the Lou puffer bag from uh, Celerant and I'm gonna be honest guys that Lou puffer bag it does wear out quite fast at the corners because of the lambskin it is a lot more affordable than the 19 and I would say it is like the 19 is nicer but um, it's still really expensive so honestly I think for the pillow bag trend I would just go for the coach one like I've never had the coach one before I have owned coach bags in the past and I found them to be pretty good quality and honestly I think going forward with these trend bags it's actually better to go for a contemporary brand I've, I'm starting to think like instead of I think when you're spending so much money like 8,000 Australian dollars I am honestly thinking like maybe just stick to classics at this point because the classics are the most easy to wear get get something in your favorite color uh get something that is well made good quality <clears throat> because um i'll even get something vintage because uh, i don't know guys but uh, i'm gonna go on a rant here but i feel like chanel quality like maybe the last year or so even on the classics like i came across this video two days ago of a lady unboxing her mini square and like the quality was so bad guys and you know how much the mini square costs now like in australia it's over six thousand dollars i just think it's kind of become a joke Let's talk about the Louis Vuitton puffer bag first. Now, for me, I think this is, a, you know, a little late. I think that they kind of hopped on this trend a little late with the Alba bag. I know that Louis Vuitton released some puffer bags in nylon, which were a little bit of a flop, and I heard had a lot of quality issues. And, like, puffer bags, to me, guys, they remind me, they bring me back to two years ago because... That is when they started to become kind of really hot. I mean, back in 2000 and I'd say 18, 19 is when we started seeing them. You know, Celeron had their puffer, then, you know, Chanel with the Chanel 19, and, uh, you know, Bottega, the pouches came out, and we had the puffy. Even Bill and Tiago, I remember, had a puffy bag. Like, they were all popping up around this time. And this is when, you know, we started to see the, um, you know, the virus come up. And, you know, for me living in Melbourne we were actually you know in 2020 we were in lockdown for like a whole like practically like a year like it was I like have blanked out that part of my life guys because it was kind of gave me a lot of anxiety I was stressed that whole year and it, I'm thankful in a way for the lockdown because it made me create a YouTube channel but I know that the trends back then I know it was only like two years ago but the trends back then were heavily just these Pangaea track suits like dad sandals like like chunky chanel shoes and like the 19 and like puffer bags that was like the really strong trends like that like it was just like so strong it was all over like I, guys i deleted tiktok because that was just like coming up like i just can't stand tiktok guys i feel like the fashion on there is just so i don't know i just it's so i just find it really uninspiring but i just the puffer bag thing I think for me it's just I associate it with that time back then and I'm just completely over it guys hey guys I've just been editing my video and I feel like I'm coming across as like really dramatic and I also feel like I'm coming across as I don't know like just making like just being yeah I'm just being dramatic so basically I don't think like if you have a puffer bag I don't think it's bad or, or good or anything I just for me personally when I see like things that are overly puffy now, it just br brings back memories of two years ago. And I think for me, 
I just don't want to go back there. Like, I don't know, because a lot of things in my life, like things that I wear, bags that I've owned, like they all for me have memories and they all take me back. Like my Gabriel backpack takes me back to when I was in Japan and like my, my rectangle mini brings me back to uh, like, you know, a bit being excited about buying one of my first Chanel bags. But then, like, for me, like, the the 19 reminds me of a time when I was really stressed, guys. So I think now when I look at puffer bags, I just, like, it brings me back to that trend and those memories. And I think for me, that's why I'm just over, like, things that are, like, overly puffy. And because obviously, guys, like, all Chanel bags are puffer bags, technically. Like, they're all quilted. But I'm just in particular talking about this trend towards like oversized puff which is still like a thing or like just bags that look like sloppy pillows i just think it just takes a, me back to a time where we were like i don't know i feel like my life nothing was happening nothing was moving we were like it i was in my track suit all the time i was like not being able to go to the gym i was like walking around the neighborhood all the time feeling lost stressed like not knowing what i was doing and like it was just a lazy fashion sense basically back then that's what the puffer bags remind me of so anyways um just wanted to make that clear i'm not hating on anyone who has puffer bags i mean i have a puffer bag so like i'm just done with the pillow bags and i don't understand why brands are still releasing new bags in puffy styles like haven't we all moved on from this time in our life like i know i looked at lawayway's recent runway and they had a puffy bag as well uh as I said, guys, like, Louis Vuitton, they're bringing out more puffy bags. Like, I just think, like, I'm personally over it. I am starting to gravitate towards just better quality bags. Like, I guess I'm on an Hermes kit, guys, so I'm loving it. I found that I have a much more appreciation for 90 Chanel as well recently because I just think that they're really well-made bags. The hardware is so much better, guys. Like, it doesn't tarnish. The leather really holds up. Whereas, I don't know, honestly, guys, Chanel quality the last year is, like, it is so bad. Like, a lot of the bags are just... I don't understand why they cost so much. So, I think, I don't know, if you were smart and bought, like, the Coach Tabby bag two years ago instead of buying a Chanel 19 or, like, a Bottega bag, well done, guys. Because, like, honestly, I just think, like, I'm personally over this cushion bag trend. I, like, want to wake up from it and stop using, like, pillows as bags and maybe just, like, I don't know. I just want, like, I want, I want bags. Like, if, if a bag is expensive, it has to look classy. Like, it has to look expensive. I just think pillow bags, they look sloppy they're easy to rip off there's so many fakes you know out there as well of like the Bottega pouch you can go into a fast fashion store buy a pouch bag and you would just think it was Bottega like honestly it's not like from afar it looks the same like it just we need bags like when a bag is really well made in real life it just it has a different feel about it guys so I don't know I just think like the, uh, I don't understand why Louis Vuitton is still doing the pillow bag. It irritates me. I think they, if they're going to have price increases, if they're going to make their bags so much more expensive than, you know, for example, three years ago, they need to be ahead of the trends. They need to be giving us things that, um, you know, inspire us, things that we moved on. I moved on from the puffer bag trend, guys. Give me something new. Like, seriously. So anyway, guys, just thought I'd put my thoughts out there today. And thanks for watching my chatty video today and i'll see you next time bye